Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and install add ons for Bedrock Edition. There are some things about add-ons that people get confused about. Firstly, a question that's asked a lot is if add-ons are the same thing as mods. Well, to answer that, some add-ons are called mods, but mods is the unofficial name for them. Generally speaking, bedrock mods are called bedrock add-ons, and you mostly only call them mods if they're for Java. Additionally, sometimes you'll see add-on files with different extensions, such as .mcpack and .mcaddon. Essentially, a .mc add-on file is a behavior pack, and a .mcpack file is a resource pack. Some may not understand what the difference is between a behavior pack and a resource pack, but if you go over to your game and into the create new world screen, you'll see two tabs under add-ons. If you click on the resource packs tab, anything you activate here is what's going to come up on the screen and what you'll actually be able to see. So if I activate a resource pack and then head into my game, the look of the game has changed completely, but not how things behave. If you go back and click on the behavior packs tab, anything you activate there is going to change how things behave rather than how they look. For example, if I activate this behavior pack I have called zoom and load into my world, once I'm in it I can hold a stick and crouch which will make the screen zoom in. That's a feature that doesn't exist normally, meaning the behaviors have been changed. Sometimes you'll get add-ons such as this Pokemon add-on I have installed, where you'll have to activate both the behavior pack and the resource pack to be able to play with it properly. Just make sure you know whether your add-on requires only resources, behaviors, or both and activate them accordingly. Lastly, it's important to mention that when creating a world, under the game tab there will be a heading named experiments. A lot of add-ons require you to have the additional modding capabilities option enabled, so even if you don't think your add-on needs it, it's best to enable it anyway to ensure no errors occur. Now that we're aware of what add-ons actually are, we can download one. In this video, I'm going to be going on mcpedl.com and browsing through the vast selection of add-ons. Once you find an add-on you like the look of, scroll down to the very bottom until you come across the downloads heading. The file names displayed below the downloads heading may vary from add-on to add-on depending on what the creator decides to title them. In most cases, there should be a behaviors and resources file for add-ons. Some may only have either the behaviors or just the resources because they only affect the behaviors or the resources. Sometimes the creator simply names it BP and RP. Don't worry, is this just stands for behavior pack and resource pack. It's the exact same as calling it behaviors and resources. All you have to do from there is click on the files individually to download them. Since the add-on I'm downloading requires both the behaviors pack and the resources pack, I'll be firstly clicking on the behaviors file. Usually, once you've clicked on a download, it redirects you to this page. Simply press the green text saying click here to continue. Afterwards, it may come up with an ad page, but all you have to do is scroll down and press free access to be sent to the correct page. In most cases, you'll end up on a Mediafire page. There, you should simply press the blue download button for your file to download. Since the add-on I'm downloading requires both the behavior pack and a resource pack, I'll be returning to the download page and clicking on the resources button. The process is the same. I'll press click here to continue and then press free access to be redirected. Lastly, I'll click the download button in once more and the file will begin downloading. When your required files are done downloading, you should check that they have a Minecraft grass block icon. If they do, then you can proceed to the next step. However, if they show up as a blank file, then that means you don't have Minecraft Bedrock actually downloaded. Before you proceed, make sure to download Minecraft Bedrock itself. If Minecraft Bedrock is already downloaded though, then you may have to reinstall. Alternatively, if your files download as zips, you will have to make sure they have an extension such as mcpack or mcaddon. To do that, you'll have to click on the arrow next to the file and then show in folder. When this files explorer window pops up, you'll have to make sure that the ribbon is expanded. You can expand the ribbon by pressing the arrow at the top right. After that's done, click on the view tab and make sure that at the far right, the file name extensions option is ticked. Then all you have to do is right click the zip and rename the file. The only thing we're going to be renaming is the extension. So instead of .zip, we want to make sure it says .mcpack if it's a texture pack or .mcaddon if it's a behavior pack. When you're done with that, press enter and you'll see that the icon changes to the Minecraft grass block icon. Well done, that means you're all ready to proceed to the next step. 
To enable the add-ons, we're going to have to double click each file individually so it installs in game. Firstly, I'll double click on the behaviors file. That will instantly open up the Minecraft Bedrock application and after a little bit, it'll say import started. Shortly, it'll say successfully imported and then the add-on name. That means that the behavior file has been installed. All we have left to install now are the resources. To do that, you want to go back and double click on the resources file. In game, you'll see that it says import started once more and then successfully imported. Now that all the files we need have been installed, I'll be firstly showing you how to create a new world with the add-ons enabled. However, if you also want to know how to enable them in an existing world, I'll be showing you how you can do so after. On the create new world screen, click on the game tab. Scroll down until you find the experiments heading and under it, ensure that the additional modding capabilities option is enabled. After, you want to look under the add-ons heading on the left. There you should click on the resource packs and behavior packs tabs and press activate on the add-on files you want to show up in your world. When you activate a file on the behavior packs section, a prompt will pop up on screen asking if you want to turn off achievements. To enable behavior pack add-ons, you have to turn off achievements, so you can just press continue. Whenever you're happy customizing other settings for your world, you can click create. You'll then have to wait for your world to generate, but when you get into the game, you'll see that your add-ons are enabled. Since I downloaded a Pokemon add-on, I can now see Pokemon wandering around in my world. I can also see that the textures are working correctly as my hotbar has been altered. However, as mentioned previously, you can also enable add-ons on an existing world. Back on the world screen, I have a world I made a couple days ago that has no add-ons enabled. I want to enable the Pokemon add-on on it though, so all I have to do is go on the game tab of the world and enable additional modding capabilities since it wasn't enabled previously. That'll create a copy of your world. Rest assured, it'll be exactly the same as your previous one, but it'll just have the experimental option enabled. After that, I'll go on the resource packs and behavior packs tabs of that new world and press activate on the Pokemon add-on files for them to be installed onto the world. When that's done, to make sure the add-ons have actually taken effect on my existing world, I'll be pressing play. As you can see, I've loaded into the world and the textures are now different, meaning the resource pack is working. Looking around, I can see there are some Pokemon mobs spawned in as well. This means the behaviors pack is also working properly. If your add-ons don't seem to be showing up, then you may have missed a step in the tutorial, so make sure to go back and refollow them. You may also want to check the add-on version to see if it's compatible with your current game version, as that could be the issue. As a last resort, you can always contact the add-on developer if you need any help or assistance. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.